Let's solve the problems of the world with Tim Blair from the Daily Telegraph and Mark Nicholson's Stepmate Studios. Good to speak to you again, gentlemen. I know um, this is, you know, often turns into a bit of a motoring segment where we talk about <laughs> motor vehicles, but we've got to do it again today. I couldn't believe this announcement today. All, all these trucks, these electric trucks are going to be running all around New South Wales. Um, 60 new trucks. But then you read that taxpayers, we good old taxpayers, tip in half the money, over $20 million. I mean, Mark, if you're going to buy a car and you can buy a nice V8 for a hundred grand, or you can get the EV version and the government tips in half the cost, you're going to give the EV a go, aren't you? <laughs> It, yeah, the, look, the scam thickens. It, uh, it's just another <laughs> another rollout of this uh, this net zero scam, I can tell you. But Albo came out, he, he released it today. He was like, today is a great day. And the majority of people have either called him out for being ridiculous or said, we don't care. We want, we want better action on the cost of living. This is not going to do it. This is going to blow up in the street. Certainly going to blow up in his face, I can tell you right now. Well, this is the thing, Tim. It's presented as some wonderful breakthrough. You know, wow, that got electric <laughs> trucks they're making this work but 20 million bucks of taxpayers money makes it work yeah about 300 grand per truck you know <laughs> like a whole, any any kind of um, freight company will take that any day of the week as you point out and this is the thing that they keep talking about you know look, we want greater choice for people we want you know uh, consumers and companies to have greater choice about the vehicles they use and then they distort the market by throwing 20 million dollars at it <laughs> yeah. and it's, apparently it's perverse apparently there's another 110 million have been sent out in similar schemes around the place so every time you see a work vehicle that's electric you know that you're paying for half of it at least <laughs> uh, but meanwhile the, the good news is uh, that great minister for climate and energy Chris Bowen, we often accuse him of being <laughs> focused on the inner city elites or whatever. No, he's a man of the people. He's been going around out bush. Here he is in the territory. Our brand new EV charger, also launching them today in Alice Springs and Tennant Creek. A lot of people are thinking about buying an EV, worried about whether there's enough chargers. We're rolling out a charger once every 150 kilometres on our national highway network to make sure no matter where you want to drive, no matter how far you drive, there's going to be a charger there for you. Tim, I imagine he could have done about 16 takes of that little piece to camera because there wouldn't have been too many electric vehicles pulling in at Tennant Creek. No, I actually was, I was hanging out for him, um, for an image of him uh, re recharging a vehicle and holding the recharger as though it's a fuel pump. They always do this. All politicians, not just idiot Chris Bowen. They always hang on to it. Oh, here we go. This is, I think, is his, uh, one of his drives around Parliament. Please let it run. Show him clipping the gutter. No, you always edit it at that point. It really upsets me. But um, he is... He, he, the, when they talk about, like, you know, levelling the playfield, what they're talking about is greater choice among things you don't want to buy. Like, you can have anything you want as long as you don't want it. That That's the Labor message on electric vehicles. And, as you note, we just keep paying through the nose for it.